We are so, so, so very sorry. Tears and an apology from the loved ones of a driver accused of hitting and killing a marine biologist crossing the street in Del Mar. Today, prosecutors said Chip Stockmeyer's blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Aitika Milanis in for Steve Atkinson. 10 News reporter Allison Ash is live. Allison, you've learned new information just in the past two hours that makes this even more tragic. Yeah, you know, at five o'clock, we showed you Chip Stockmeyer. He was in handcuffs and he turned to his uh, ex-wife in the front row and said, give my love to the boys. Well, I reached out to his attorney and found out he's the father of two little boys, a four-year-old and a five-year-old who is fighting cancer and is in and out of the hospital all the time, making this a tragedy now for two families. She was an incredible young lady with a wonderful future ahead of her and it's a terrible loss. We are so, so, so very sorry. A tearful apology from the sister of this man, 41-year-old Chip Stockmeyer, who's charged with vehicular manslaughter, DUI, and hit and run in the death of 27-year-old Scripps marine biologist, Rachel Morrison. Two dozen of Morrison's friends and colleagues wore pink roses, held pictures and hands with each other as they absorbed the awful truth about the crash that killed her. Rachel's body did go flying 120 feet away into the bushes, and according to witness statements, uh, the driver of the car did not stop or slow down. This picture shows the impact of Morrison's body on the windshield of Stockmeyer's car. And this one shows the front end of his Audi A4, the front license plate left at the scene, evidence that led to his arrest. It's estimated Stockmeyer's blood alcohol level was 0.24 at the time of the accident, three times the legal limit. When asked if he was familiar with the vehicle code requiring him to stop after the collision, he said he was, and it occurred to him to stop, but he just wanted to go home and sleep. The fact that the accused, the accused fled the scene uh, for me is just a demonstration of a heinous crime, no respect for human life, and uh, Rachel deserved more respect than that. Because of the severity of the crime, the judge raised Stockmeyer's bail to $250,000. He was handcuffed and returned to a jail cell. And as he was taken away, we could hear sobs coming from the front row of the courtroom where Stockmeyer's sister and his ex-wife were sitting. If he's convicted, he could spend the next 15 years in prison. We're live in Vista, Allison Ash, 10 News.